Hi, it's Bruce Whipple. A question I get asked a lot is also, well, I'm young, I'm inexperienced, geez, nobody's going to want to work with me. And one of the things that you end up doing is you, when you look at a dream team and building a dream team, you're going to reach out to people that are far more successful than you are at this stage. And it's important that you do that with the right attitude. If you truly believe you're going to build a special company, which is a large company, you're going to be giving a small piece of equity to the founding board of directors. So you're inviting them into a very, very exclusive club. And if you think of it that way, think of it as interviewing them rather than begging them to join your venture, I think you're going to find that that works much, much better. And that's not only true for a dream team, but it's also true for accountants that you're going to bring on, lawyers and financial institutions, and selling your acquisitions on why they should be acquired from you. So that's a really important concept to get the mindset that you're interviewing them as opposed to begging them to join your venture. So how do you go about finding these people? Well, it's a great tool that wasn't there when I first started this, which is LinkedIn. And I'll go through this in a little bit of detail, but essentially what you want to do is you want to get a version of LinkedIn where you can do some searches for leads. You want to hopefully have a profile that reflects what you want to do. So when people look at your profile, they can say, oh, I see what he's doing. And that goes back to what industry you're going to work in, how you're going to make a change to that. You don't want to give away everything, but you want to give enough that it's interesting and people look at that. And so when you want to reach out and do a search for people, go into the search version of LinkedIn, put in your keywords, which is basically the industry, and then click second connections. And that's basically a friend of a friend. And in the beginning, you won't have a lot, but you'll be surprised how fast you can grow that network. And then basically, you use the connect function to just reach out at a very, very simple message to them, which is... I noticed we had some connections in common. I'd love to know more about what you do and how we might be able to help each other. My profile will show you what I do. Thanks. And that's it. Simple. And most of the time, depending upon the industry and who you're going after, between 20 to 70 people will accept that connection. And then you want to set up a time to talk to them and explain in brief, what it is you're doing from a 30,000 foot level. And then make sure that they understand that you're there not to just pick their brain, that you will add some people to the board of directors. Maybe that's them, maybe that's not them. But if it is them, want them to understand that board members would not be asked for capital and in fact would be given a small piece of equity. So they have a reason to talk to you and you're not just picking their brain like everybody tends to do. That's very, very important. And you'll be surprised how quickly uh, you can get people interested in what you're doing. So I hope you found this helpful. There's a lot more to this process than what I've been able to explain in this short video, but that's a really good beginning step as to how you would do that. So if you have found this video helpful, head over to brucewhipple.com. We've got free reports, uh, additional information, videos, et cetera, that I think would help you if you want to understand the QLA methodology and how you get started.